Hello, this is Hank, and I'm, my mic is probably plugged in, so I should bring it over here. Hello, this is Hank, and I am going to vlog every day in April, except that I totally missed uh, the first day, because I forgot about VEDA, but now I remembered, because people are doing it, and I wanted to try and do it too, though I have no guarantees. And today, I'm making a noise with two guitar picks. I don't even use guitar picks, I don't know why I have them. Because I want to learn. This is on my desk, by the way, which is why I want to hit my desk. Goes, so I'm just going to talk about stuff that's on my mind. And here's what's on my mind right now. Catherine and I just went for a long walk downtown with Lemon. And it was great. People were very nice, and, and they love Lemon. What kind of dog is this? I've never seen a greyhound that color. She's so soft. Is she a rescue dog? Was she very expensive? Can I touch her? Is she mean? People have lots of questions, and we're happy to answer them, and, and people like to touch her because she is very soft. But Catherine and I have been walking down downtown Missoula for going on five, six years now. And when you walk around in a downtown area a lot, you start to recognize certain people. Catherine and I have names for these peoples. There's Walkin' Man who is this old Greek guy who doesn't speak English very well, and he's always walking, so we call him Walking Man. There's the octopus, and that's his name colloquially in Missoula because he's got some kind of developmental disability, but he's a really good chess player. And he earned the name the octopus because he can play eight games of chess at once with eight regular chess players and win all of them. And then there is the husky husky guy, and no one calls him the husky husky guy except us, but there's this guy who's always walking around and he has two dogs. We thought that they were huskies because we didn't know what Malamutes were, but so we thought that they were really big huskies, so we called them husky huskies. One of them, it turned out, was a half Malamute, half husky. The other one is all Malamute. So the husky husky guy and his dogs have been walking around downtown Missoula for as long as we've lived here. And he's a really nice guy and he's actually a waiter at a restaurant we like. And he's a friend of a friend. It's a small town. So we, we know who he is now. So Gather and I were walking around downtown and we see the husky husky guy and with him is the husky Malamute cross and a tiny baby Malamute. Which was adorable, but what it said to us was the husky husky is no more. And I wanted to talk to him about it. I wanted to be like, oh no, where, where's, and I mean, it was an old dog when we moved here. So it was very sad and I wanted to confront him about it and, and like say how sad we were and how cute the new dog is. But alas, so I wanted to tell somebody about it. So I'm telling you about it. I never even knew the dog. It just makes me sad. It's weird that you can have this relationship with these characters. Uh, in, in your life that you never really interact with at all. We actually saw the walking man on the octopus today too which is amazing. I mean, they're just always around. I think communities should pay those characters, those downtown interesting people who are, you know, they're harmless and they're interesting and they're sort of, they give the, uh, a place something special. I think that they should just give those people a stipend, a small stipend just for walking around downtown and being part of the community. That is all that I wanted to say. I, uh, rest in peace, Husky Husky. Um, and I will see you all tomorrow.